When installing a vinyl decal on your boat, it's important to make sure the surface is very clean. So just using some liquid gist soap and water, uh, scrub the surface, then dry it, and then you can go back with some clean water and dry it again. Um, here I'm just um, kind of eyeballing this larger decal in place. I know where I want it, but I'm going to go ahead and measure off the back of the boat so that I can do the same on both sides with my other decals, getting them in the exact location. But other than that, um, in most cases, there's not a whole lot of straight lines on a boat. They have a lot of curves and edges. So even just standing back and eyeballing your decal is a great way to kind of get it into the best position. Once I've got it where I want it, I'm just using some uh, masking tape here to mask the lower edges. Uh, and this will really help keep that decal from folding or bending ir in an irregular pattern. So I want it to just fold straight down and not move. And here I'm running a piece of masking tape from left to right, pretty much uh, right down the center. The other method uh, or way of doing this with smaller stickers is to go vertically. So from top to bottom, just kind of find your center point and uh, do it this way. I do find that it's easier to run it left to right on larger decals. You have less chance of the sticker uh, folding in, uh, incorrectly on you. So here I'm just removing the backing and trying my best not to touch the sticker. If I have to put any pressure anywhere, I try to touch just the negative space on that front piece. Uh, next, I'm just going to get a pair of scissors and cut that backing as low as I can. It's not super important, but just try to get it as low as you can or as close to that separation point as possible. Next, you want to get a squeegee of some kind. I'm just using my driver's license. It's what I've always used. It works great. Um, start in the center and kind of push your way out to the edges and up. Start with light pressure and progressively push harder and harder, uh, finding any bubbles or creases that you may have and try to work those out. If you do get bubbles in your finished product, you can always take like a pin needle or the tip of a razor blade and pop those with the smallest holes possible. And here I'm just removing all the uh, masking tape that I put there originally. And we'll fold that up and remove the backing from the bottom side now. If you're doing this outside, if it's windy, it helps to have a second set of hands. Somebody help keep that vinyl sticker from dropping on accident and sticking before you're ready. But if you just take your time, it's not too bad. And then once again, you just want to quickly uh, start at the middle and work yourself out. And once again, starting with light pressure and then progressively pushing harder. When pulling off the protective outer uh, layer here, you just want to pull it up towards itself. You don't really want to pull it away from the sticker because it can cause the vinyl to start pulling off the surface of your boat. Especially when you have small lettering, uh, just keep an eye on, on the entire sticker as you're pulling it slowly. Don't rush that process. Then after the, the outer coating has been removed, you can go back, double check everything and re kind of squeegee the entire sticker. So here is the other method where we're using the tape vertically on this longer registration sticker. It's basically the exact same method. When you're installing this part of the sticker, you want to with your off hand, you're here in this case, my right hand, I'm pulling uh, pretty tight. 
and if you happen to get off of your original mark you'll feel it in the the sticker itself you'll feel it kind of uh, if you've got enough pressure on it you'll feel as it kinks or kind of just doesn't feel correct it's pretty easy to uh, to tell but there is some room for error so just take your time and don't rush it once again here we're just going to remove this tape do the same as we did on the larger sticker remove that backing and then keeping pressure on the sticker we're going to start there from the center and work our way out putting on decals always stresses me out a little bit because I know that you will get one shot at it but it's really not too bad don't stress yourself out uh, just take your time and overall it's a pretty simple process Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I hope to see you on the next one.